This is a presentation of the gospel of the tree. Our first parents disobeyed God and ate the fruit hanging from the branch of the tree, as it says in Genesis 3, 6. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was desirable to make one wise, she took from its fruit and ate, and she gave also to her husband with her, and he ate. Their eating resulted in the curse, as it says in Genesis 3, 16 through 17. To the woman he said, I will greatly multiply your pain in childbirth. In pain you will bring forth children, yet your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. Then to Adam he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree about which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. And toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. But this also resulted in the promised seed. As it says in Genesis 3.15, And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel. And the seed became the branch bearing fruit. Then a shoot will spring from the stem of Jesse, and a branch from his roots will bear fruit. Isaiah 11, 1. And the branch hung on the tree, as it says in 1 Peter 2, 24, who his own self bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. And the branch hanging from the tree removed the curse. As it says in Galatians 3.13, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. So the curse is now removed for all who eat. So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in yourselves. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. John 6, 53 through 54.